This is an error somebody reported to me. I checked another ALS 606 amplifier I had here and it had the same ground issue. I don't know if this is just in a few amplifiers or in a lot of them. Uh, however, it does indicate these units are not properly tested and inspected when they leave the factory. I suspect that this could extend to the ALS 600s when the ALS 600s are used with a switching power supply. So there's probably a problem there that I just have not checked yet. This error results in the white line cord wire being directly grounded to the amplifier chassis. Dating this amplifier by looking at the stickers, we see that this amplifier was built sometime around June of 2018. The top connector pin from this rear view must never be grounded to the chassis. Two critical rules using a 120 or 240 volt three wire circuit. Leakage from either line terminal to chassis has to be less than a half a milliamp and the round pin and chassis can never be used as a power line connection. We really should test this with a high pot tester, but gross wiring errors like this can be found with a regular ohm meter. Once again, the United States rules for 120 or 240 volt three wire cords are that neither power pin can have a path to the chassis and the round pin cannot ever be used as a power return. Because of the ALS 600's 120 volt AC fan, the linear supplies have a power transformer lead brought to the top NC pin in the ALS 600's. This required floating the NC pin in the 12 volt fan ALS 606 models. So that NC pin should never be connected in an ALS 606. This is why in FCC paperwork and in original prototype panels the ALS 606 has a dead chassis pin always in the position shown. Grounding that top outside pin on the connector shown in the picture here is against code and it's unsafe for the user. While not ideal, you can check this with a uh, simple regular old ohm meter that most of us have. Uh, you can measure from uh, with everything connected and the power switch on. You can measure from either of the hot pins to the ground pin on the cord. If you show any resistance between either of the two hot pins and the ground pin, then you have a problem in the amplifier that needs to be addressed. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it helps people stay safe.